lithium ion battery cells have a higher density in energy than dynamite. Think about that. You have a cell phone in your pocket. And that's why you need this stuff to be safe, really. I'm Killian Green. I'm the head of engineering at Mellow Boards and today we're going to take you through our battery pack, the Mellow Battery Pack, aka the power bank. Today we've got nine questions that we get frequently asked and uh, we're going to try and answer them all for you so you get a better understanding of the Mellow Drive, what you're getting and all the features that it has. Question number one, what does the battery pack look like? On the top the battery is black, on the bottom it is blue. In the front of the battery you have the main connector and on the back of the battery you have the snap lock. Then you got an LED display and in addition it features a charging port and a USB port for your mobile devices. The housing of the battery is made out of a material called PCABS. This is a polycarbonate ABS which is a terribly rigid material we know from power tools. They get dropped, they get smashed. We don't want your battery to get hurt. Um, that's why we chose this uh, rugged material. The bottom is over molded with a silicone rubber. So it keeps the battery from rattling, makes it even uh, more stable and um, doesn't slip on the table. The top of the battery housing is black. The bottom is blue. On the back you have the snap lock to connect it into the frame and on the front you have the main battery connector. I'm going to get to that later. On the top of the battery, in addition, you have an LED display uh, displaying the state of charge, when the battery is connecting, um, if there's uh, anything the battery wants to tell you, that's the LED display. Uh, you have an USB charging port for all your mobile devices and you have a charge connector to recharge the battery either in the drive or not in the drive on the table. Which brings us to our next question. How do I change the Mellow battery? As you know, the Mellow board has an exchangeable battery system. So how do I change the battery actually? Push the snap lock, get your fingers under the battery, take it out, get a new battery and snap it in. That's the whole magic. You can do that in two seconds if you want to. Question number three, what is the range of a Mellow battery pack? On one of these batteries, you can get a, a realistic range of 12 to 15 kilometers, always depending on the terrain, the weight of the rider, uh, the quality of your pavement, and possibly wind. So um, depending on if you go up and down hills a lot, that will drain the battery a lot quicker. Once you start riding, always push off once or twice before you engage the throttle. That will give you a significantly longer range. Question number four, the mellow battery connector. This connector is great. It is um, vibration proof. It is waterproof. It is magnetic. Um, it has six pins, four data pins for communication and two power pins uh, to transmit the high currents that are flowing. This connector is all made in Germany. It's super high quality and we love the shit out of it. Question number five. Why does the Mellow battery pack have a USB connector. Right here, under this little lid, there's a USB connector and you can use it to, for example, charge a smartphone, charge all your mobile devices. Imagine you're in a park with your family, friends, listening to music, have little USB speakers running low, just connect it, hook it up to the mellow battery pack and you can uh, charge it up. You can even charge a iPhone S6 for nine days, imagine that. Go into the mountains, take the battery pack and um, just fire up your phone every day. Number six is the BMS, the battery management system. What do I need a battery management system for? Safety, especially. So the battery management system consists out of three main chips. It is a safety chip, it is a fuel gauge chip, and there's a communications chip. Obviously, the communications chip runs the communication between the battery management system and the rest of the drive. The fuel gauge chip is for the calculation of your state of charge so you always know how far you can go. And the safety chip monitors every single cell, monitors the temperature of the pack, and if there's any critical situation, will shut down the pack and therefore 
get it into a safe status. Question number seven. What about fire? Electric vehicles like hoverboards have been known to go up in flames every now and again, something you don't want to happen with your Christmas present. And therefore we're like setting a lot of our focus onto the safety of this pack. On the inside, you have a battery management system with a dedicated safety chips monitoring everything. I told you about it. Also, we have Samsung cells, which are highest class and uh, amongst the highest quality cells in the whole world. And if anything goes wrong from the inside or the outside, our battery housing has the fi highest fire retardancy level you can get under the UL945VA. That means not even a blue burning, blue burning gas flame can burn a hole into this housing under the conditions of this test. Question number eight. Can I travel with the Mellow battery pack? And the answer is yes, you can. This has a UN transport certificate and uh, it allows you to travel with up to three of those battery packs in your cabin luggage. So how to travel with a battery pack like that? You take it out of your drive, put that in your cabin luggage, cabin luggage, get that in your check-in luggage. And as you get out of the plane on your weekend in Barcelona, you just whack the battery out of your bag, snap it into the drive and off you go downtown for a beautiful weekend. Question number nine, what's the life expectancy of your mellow battery? These battery packs uh, do up to a thousand charge cycles. That means you can charge and discharge this battery at least a thousand times. We give you one year of warranty on the battery pack. The whole drive has two years of warranty and a um, little tip to get the maximum out of your battery. Never leave it uncharged. That's something batteries don't like at all. So always when you take it out of your drive or you get into a basement for the winter or whatever, you just charge the battery. You can even leave it plugged onto your charger uh, in your basement and you'll be safe and the battery will be feeling great and therefore you will get the most lifetime out of your battery. So that's it for today. I hope you could uh, enjoy the show and we could answer some questions for you. If you want some more details, you can find them on The Endless Nerdistan in Instagram. I am The Endless Engineer. Matsair Mechanics Guy is, for example, The Endless Surfer. Whoever you're going to find with these two words is going to be one of our team. Um, <laughs> see you next time. Keep riding. Stay mellow.